So, hello everybody. My name is Richard Eckert de Castillo. I'm from the UKP lab at the Technische Universität Darmstadt. And um, I want to present a topic for the hackathon that we labeled uh, linking biomedical publications and knowledge using the Inception text annotation platform. Uh, it's not necessarily something we already do. It's actually something we would like to discover if this uh, community can make use of our tool. So what is Inception? Inception is a text annotation tool, manual text annotation tool. So you, so you think of something like Brad. Actually, you might recognize the interface, which we inherited from Brad via WebAnno. It's an open source tool. You can already download it from the website. And we have been working on it for quite some time now. So what is the core idea of Inception? When we consider text annotation, it consists, it consists is a process, process that consists of a number of steps. It starts with corpus creation, so basically you search uh, some re document repository for documents which contain interesting information that you might want to annotate. It consists of the annotation step itself, where you identify spans, relations, annotations, and label them. And it might consist of an additional knowledge uh, management step, where you uh, manage uh, normative information to which you link your annotations. And normally these steps are not integrated in a single tool. So you have some tools where, where that you use to search your corpora, you have some tools that you use to do your annotation, and you have some other tools that you do for your uh, that you use for your knowledge management. So what if we put all of these into a single platform? Then we can export synergies between the different steps. For example, we can use a knowledge base to perform entity disambiguation. We can use the knowledge base to create cross-document co-reference. We can use annotations that we often have already created and exploit information um, during the search process. For example, focusing on things that are similar to the things that we have already annotated or that are dissimilar from the things that we have already annotated. Or we could involve information from a knowledge management in order to perform semantic search and to automatically categorize information. And there are many more things that you could imagine doing when you have all these three functionalities integrated into a single project, into a single annotation platform. So what we want to do here at Blyze, uh, we want to figure out how well does our text annotation platform work in a biomedical context. We inherit good deal of our functionality from previous tools such as Brad and Webano, which have uh, been successfully employed in this uh, context, but they lack certain functionality, in particular knowledge management and search. So this is where we want to contribute. Another thing is that we built a human in the loop platform in Inception, with, which has a very tight loop. So we support all of the three functionalities using machine learning that learns while the annotator is performing his work. And that is also an added benefit. So now what do we want to do here exactly? We want to look into improving the interoperability of the annotation platform with the pub annotation platform. So what do we already have? In Inception, there's already an API for document repositories, which we currently use to connect to Elasticsearch document repositories. But the idea is to have a generic API that you can use to connect to all kinds of data repositories or text repositories with the ability to search the repository, to import documents uh, on demand. We already have a basic reader and writer um, that was created earlier this year for the pub annotation format. And um, so what do we want to do now? We want to use our API to create a connector to the pub annotation repository so that we can search it, that we can immediately import data from it into the annotation platform, perform our text annotation, possibly to publish the data back to the repository. And what you see here in the screenshots is this is a basic screenshot of, us, of the external search page. In this case, um, we have searched over the common qual corpus. That's why the data here is very low quality. And down here, you can see configuration interface um, where we have in this particular project configured one external document repository and a number of configuration items that we have. The second uh, thing that we want to do is we want to test our interoperability with biomedical ontologies, knowledge resources, taxonomies. What we already have is support for local and remote RDF-based uh, knowledge bases. We already have a built-in uh, page for knowledge management. We already have some built-in support for performing entity linking as part of the annotation process. 
Uh, so you can see when you type here, it get, gets auto-completed from the knowledge base, you get some descriptions from the knowledge base, the knowledge base mapping is configurable. So what we want to do here is we want to compile a list of worthwhile ontologies that are worth investigating when we want to see if we're already compatible with them to, and to which degree. And if we're not compatible with them, we want to identify what needs to be done in order to become compatible, possibly already working on that. Now, the third thing that's maybe optional or not, we'll see. Um, many of the people that have spoken today have presented different algorithms and tools, domain-specific algorithms and tools. And as I said, one of the key features of the Inception Annotation Platform is putting the human in the loop. So we have a, we have a human in the loop annotation process, which supports continuous training in the background while the user is annotating. We have APIs either for built-in recommenders, as we call them, or for web service-based recommenders, that is annotation tools that basically either use pre-trained models to generate annotation suggestions or that take the annotations that the user is making while well, that the user is making and learn from them uh, and using them to, to create new annotation suggestions to sp speed up the annotation process. We have an example code for uh, the external recommender. Um, for Python and Java, and of course also for the internal Java API because everything's open source. And what we're interested in is hooking up new tools that might be interesting to the community, to the annotation um, platform, so that you can uh, use them while you're performing your gold standard annotation in order to improve your uh, annotation speed. So these are the th uh, things that we would like to address here at Plan. Now, a few additional details on the technical backgrounds of Inception. So it's a Java-based web application. It uses UEMA for the annotation management. We have a quite configurable annotation scheme that supports a wide range of tasks, including uh, covering span-based annotations, relation-based annotations, as well as coreference chains. It's out-of-the-box compatible with the DK Pro port type system. It supports import and export filters for a number of additional formats. We have a configurable knowledge base mappings for different types of RDF-based knowledge-based schemas, like RDF schema, AUS, GOS, uh, DBpedia, Wiki, Wikidata, and so on. We have also a nice integrated uh, search feature to search over the annotations that people make in the annotation tool, not external search, but internal search, based on the MTAS um, uh, annotation indexing tool. Now, who are we? My name is Richard Eckert of Castillo, and I'm here together with my colleague Jan Christoph Klee. Um, I'm one of the PIs of the project, of the Inception project, and Jan is a postdoctoral researcher on the project. Um, I will probably focus more on the external search and pop annotation integration, interoperability, and um, Jan's focus will be more in the area of entity linking and knowledge base management. And uh, if anybody's interested in the external recommender and connecting tools to the platform. So we hope this raises your interest in the Inception Detector Annotation Platform. And we'll be working together with some of you for the rest of the week to try things out and make things better. So thank you very much.